Hello everyone, it's Robert from Global Prospecting. How are you today? Thanks for watching our videos. And this is the opal we'll be cutting. It's a Wilo opal and you can see the striations in it here. So we should be able to get a honeycomb pattern if we cut the top down. Uh, you can see them right there. Now we may not be able to get the shape that we want out of this opal, which would preferably be an oval, but we'll get do the best we can. Let's get started. So we're gonna cut this opal and we're gonna cut the very top here. And that's where we should be able to get the honeycomb pattern, this top area. And we're working with the 220 wheel right now. And we'll be moving on to lower grain wheels as we move on. So I'm going to take off, you know, most of the rough on this opal so we can see what we're working with. And hopefully we got honeycomb under this yellow here. And I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing to our channel. We've really been gaining some subscribers and we really appreciate you guys watching our videos and if you haven't subscribed yet please like subscribe and click that little bell down below so you can get notified of our videos that we put out every week so as you can see I'm just working the sides here and getting off all the the rough on the opal so we can uncover what's underneath and hopefully I'll be able to get you know a decent shape out of this I don't think we're going to be able to get an oval just the way the, the opal is shaped you can see the bottom uh, we could make an oval that would be the top but then we'd lose the honeycomb so we're going to have to go from the top down So what's your favorite pattern in an opal? Let us know below. Leave a comment on what your favorite pattern is. So underneath this yellow part here, I believe that's where our honeycomb is. If any of you out there are looking for Ethiopian opera, you can go to www.global-prospecting.com. We have a wide variety of rough that you can choose from to cut your own opals. Well, you can really see the honeycomb popping out there. That's what we were looking for. Now we can work on our shape. Next week, we'll be cutting some Australian Opal Rough, so check that video out, coming up next week.
So it looks like we're forming a tri triangle shape here. Either like kind of a heart or a triangle. I'm gonna roll the edges up. We got a new studio we've been working on and we'll be working out of the studio in the next month or so. So you'll be seeing more of us. We're going to be putting out a video every week when the winter months are coming. So get yourself a cabin machine and start cabbing opal. Wow, look at the honeycomb in that. Wow, look at that honeycomb. Well, it looks like we're coming to the close of this wheel. And we're going to be moving on to the next wheel. Just a couple few more little things on this. But check out that honeycomb. Look at that. So in between each wheel, make sure that you dry your opal off. And make sure that the surface looks uniform. So you won't have to step back to a uh, previous wheel and have to fix a problem. You'll be able to catch the problem before you move on. So let's move on to the 280 wheel. So on this wheel, we'll refine our shape and we'll get all the facets off and then we'll move on to the polishing process. It looks like we'll be able to get a double-sided gem out of this opal. Look at the color in that. Beautiful. Wow, that color is really popping through and you can really see the honeycomb in this. Beautiful. It's great to have everyone here watching our videos. It keeps me company as I cut these beautiful opals. Thanks for watching everyone. We appreciate it. Wow, look at the color in this opal. Beautiful reds, yellows, greens, even catching some blues in there. It's coming up, coming out amazing. If anyone has any questions, don't be shy to ask. Just leave a comment below and we'll answer all your questions.
Well, we're done with this wheel and we're going to move on to the next. Check that opal out. Let's get this opal on a top stick and continue on. Now I'm working on the 1200 wheel. Wow, look at the color in that opal. Amazing. Now let's move on to the next wheel. And now I'm working on the 3000 wheel. And we're working on the 14,000 wheel. You can always keep your opal moving. And now we're on the felt polishing wheel and we're using cerium oxide. Stay tuned for the completed opal. Wow, what a beautiful opal. This opal weighs 14.61 carats and it's complete. All sides are good on this opal if you look around. Each side has been polished and has a different unique pattern. And we really appreciate everyone coming for the ride and cutting this opal with us. We really enjoy cutting these opals for you. So please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get notified of our new videos coming out once a week. Thanks for watching, everyone.